What's up everybody, it's your girl July here with Youth On Record and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit out mistakes and breaths and all of the things of that nature. So let's figure out which one of these takes is the best. This is the artist statement from my phone. Hello, my name is July. <clears throat> I start a picture and I finish it. I don't think about art while I work. I try to think about life. Cool, so that's the phone recording and this is the one recorded from my laptop. Or my Yeti microphone, actually. <clears throat> I start a picture and I finish it. I don't think about art while I work. Um, I try to think about life. Cool, so right off the bat, I think my phone recording actually sounds better than my raw Yeti recording. It's picking up the humidifier in the background, and it's also picking up the fan on my laptop. And when I recorded on my phone, I didn't have any of those things on. So this is just a testament to make sure that when you record, you are in a quiet as space as possible, and you eliminate the background noises. Hello, my name is July. So for the purpose of my artist statement or Basquiat's artist statement, I'm going to get rid of my introduction where I say hello, what my name is. So I'm literally just going to trim that off by dragging this corner to the right. And I also want to fade this in so it's not super abrupt and it doesn't pop at the beginning. So anytime you make a cut, you'll want to do a fade so that it's a smooth transition and doesn't just start where you cut it. <coughs> So this is me clearing my throat. I'll also want to cut that and then I'll just drag it to the beginning. Start from the beginning and play it again. I start a picture and I finish it. I don't think about art while I work. I try to think about life. Cool. So it ends right there. So I'm going to cut this or, you know, drag it to the left. This is called trimming when I'm dragging it to the left and right and basically isolating the part that I'm actually using. And these little white circles at the top allows to add fades. Cool, so now I have trimmed and added fades to my artist statement and it sounds like this. I start a picture and I finish it. I don't think about art while I work. I try to think about life. Awesome, so one more thing I would like to show you is some automation. Now this is fairly quiet. So I'm going to turn it up, but I think I could turn up the first two portions of my artist statement a bit more because the last one was louder than the first two. So in order to do that, I'll click on this automation icon, which has four points and the lines connecting it. Click on the automation to add an automation lane, which is what this is called, an automation lane. And I'm going to automate the value. And then from here, I could just click and we can automate the volume like this. I start a picture and I finish it. I don't think about art while I work. I try to think about life. Cool. So I'm going to turn it up a bit more and let's hear it again. And also, I would like to make another point so that the transition to this last statement is a bit smoother. Let's hear it. I start a picture and I finish it. I don't think about art while I work. I try to think about life. So in addition to basic trims at the end and beginning and fades at the beginning and end, you might also want to get rid of some space in between your sentences. Let's say you paused or maybe you stumbled up in the middle. There's also a way to do that. So I'm going to actually show you with this example that I'm not using just for the sake of you knowing how to do it. <clears throat> I start a picture and I finish it. I don't think about art while I work. Um, I try to think about life. Okay, cool. So one thing that jumps out is definitely these spaces in between and this um right here. So let's work on editing this one just as a second example. So where does it start? <clears throat> I start a picture and I finish it. What I just did was I drug down this area here. You'll see a uh, arrow 
a icon with the arrow up and a, a down arrow will pop up on the left side. It'll allow you to drag this area out to make it larger for you to see. <clears throat> so that's me clearing my throat. I'll get rid of that and add a fade. And let's drag this to the beginning and restart. I start a picture and I finish it. So I have quite a bit of a, a break here. So I'm going to cut this region by holding down command on a Mac and pressing E or uh, control on a Windows and pressing E. And then from there, I can shorten this or trim it and then drag this back to the left. And let's see what it sounds like. I start a picture and I finish it. I don't think about art while I... So I'm going to zoom in a bit more. Whoops, wrong button. So we could see this space a bit better. I start a picture and I finish it. And let's actually go ahead and add a fade to this clip. Picture and I finish it. I start a picture and I finish it. I, I also want to get rid of this space here. I don't want it to be as big, so I'll go ahead and Command E or Control E on the Windows, cut that region as well. And I'm going to add fades up at the top so it smoothens it out. I don't think of and I finish it. I don't. Th so for here, I'll keep a longer space because it makes sense to have a space here, but not as long as it was before. It. I don't think about art while I work. Finish it. I don't think about art while I work. From the top. I start a picture and I finish it. I don't think about art while I work. Work. Um. Cool. So we'll also cut this out. And we'll get rid of the um and the extra long space. And we'll just make it longer so that it fits. So let's listen and see how it works in now. And we'll change it as we go. While I work. I try to think about life. Cool, so I'll make that longer, maybe about this much. While I work, I try to think about life. Cool, so some things that definitely jump out about this take is that I don't like my inflection. I also notice a few mouth clicks, so probably need to drink some water before I do my next take. But uh, besides that, it should be pretty solid editing wise in terms of our cuts trims and our fades so let's listen to this and see how it sounds from here to here while i work i try to think about life and we'll also cut the end of this in which i was basically instructing while i was recording and whoops there we go uh yeah so you just seen me forget make sure you're at the bottom when you're trying to move your clips from left to right and you're trimming and you can see the little icons pop up as well. We'll fade this one. While I work, I try to think about life. Cool. So that is how you edit something when you have spaces in the middle. Just wanted to give you a second example of how to edit. See you in the next video.